Morning guys, it is a Saturday uh, at the warehouse and it's very quiet, which is nice. And uh, anyway, I've just got to um, make a bit of headway today. Um, put some, put all the water service in the wall, like for the hot and cold, for the basins and kitchen sinks and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, because I'm just finding it difficult getting the time to get back at the warehouse and I don't want to hold up any other trades, you know, to because I need tilers to come in and that sort of stuff and ceiling fixes. So I just want to, you know, get a bit of a head, head start this morning, um, getting it sorted. Uh, so I'll show you the brickwork's finished. Uh, just I'm so happy with it. It just looks amazing. Um, that feature brick wall that Brando said I should definitely have, I should definitely have because it looks the bomb. Anyway, I'll show you. I'll show you now. Check it out. So check it out, guys. Hey, it just looks looks so good. I'm so happy with it. Uh, he's done a fantastic job. So you know, you imagine if we put a sign up there later on or something, it's going to look great. Uh, so here's the doorway. It goes into the kitchen uh, area. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the old. Uh, this is the uh, the new ambulance toilet. Okay, so we've got the, the, the toilet over here. Um, this new basin that's that's going to go there. Uh, so I don't. I want to try and avoid like plastering the walls and then painting them. I, I quite like when they just paint the brick. Okay, but the thing is, we've got to do these chase marks to put the hot and cold water up the walls right so i don't want to have i don't want to have to see that so i've really thought about how i can hide the the chase marks so i you know we don't see them so like on this bathroom uh, this toilet here that we've got what i've done is I've, you can see there i've just drilled a hole through the wall and then on the opposite side of that opposite side of that wall the shower is there right and the tiles more or less going all the way up to the ceiling so i'm going to tap into the cold main on that side into into here so all the you know water pipes and everything will be on that side, but just stick through. So all the chasing and stuff will be on the opposite side and then go up and it'll be covered by the tiles. Same with this. Um, we're going to put a mixture in the wall here for the, um, for the basin, okay? And that's going to pop through and go to the other side. And the other side of this wall is where the fridge access is and it's going to be an overhead cupboard, so you're not going to see the chase there either. So all those little things we're trying to, trying to do as well. So you'll see over here the kitchen, okay? Same here, I've just chased, chased the wall out, okay? So we've got the hot and cold water here for the sink. Um, we're gonna put a water filter, dishwasher tap. And on the opposite side of the wall, we're gonna pop through these, these two holes here. And I've bought this sweet little um, Steve Eltron um, three-phase hot water system. And yeah, they look beautiful. Just look, you, know, you stick it on the wall and the pipes sort of come out, so I've made them, so, so they just come out. And so all you can see is, you, know, you don't see any taps or anything, it just looks a sweet little unit. So that'll be done on here. And so all this will be covered because you've got the you know, kitchen cupboard, you've got splashback, and then you've got more overhead cupboards. So you won't see this, this chase coming down, which will be really good. Um, here's the other side of the uh, basin for, for the ambulance toilet. So all the pipes will come up here. There'll be a, a, a tap we're gonna put up here for the, you know, the fridge water, if we ever get a uh, yeah, fridge of water. Okay, uh, I'll show you the other shower as well. Okay, so here's the shower. So we've got the, uh, this is where the toilet, um, toilet, the disabled toilet is going to sit. So we're running along there with the cold, and then it's it's going up here to the, to the top there. Um, and this is the hole for the toilet on the other side, so it will it, hide it. And yeah, we've got a mixer here for the for the uh, disabled shower, and that's the outlet for the shower down here. So that'll have the hose on it and go up to a rail, and so they just. Here's the rail, um, these are the fixings point. I've marked the fixing point because the last thing you want to do is um, put your water pipes in and then drill through them at the end of the job, you know, because it's a, you know, you got to move it, fix it, and you, you got to be pretty exact with these shower rails for disabled people because, you know, there's certain heights that they have to be to hang on. So you can see I've marked it up here. Is, is a fixing point here for one of them, the other fixing point here, and the other fixing point here. So nowhere near my pipes as well, which is um, very important. Same with the other side over here. Got the basin. Again, with the disabled stuff, you know, you've only got 10 mil play. They, they say it has to be this height and, and that's it. So um, so it's a wall hung basin. I've got these, these two fixings, you know, they're quite big bolts that have to go in here. And these are the spuds that come out that the hot and cold will go onto. Okay, so they'll, they'll be there. And so on the opposite side, you can see this is where the trough is. This is where we've run that chase up. So we'll be able to, you know, we'll see that chase, but on the other side we won't. And, um, and there's that hot and cold pipe coming through. And this mark here is the one that I've marked to show where the fixing is for the basin on the other side. So again, 
it's missing my my water pipes not by much but but yeah so it's missing my water pipes not by much but it's uh it's enough yeah so that's what i'll be doing today to um just get it get the head start and then once once that's all done i can start organizing tyler i could even start um putting all the, the c channels in with the m12 bolts bolted in there and stuff i've got all the got all the um c channels and stuff all, all delivered and um so good having mates around here with with um forklifts so they can pick it up and put it inside the unit for me so it's been so good um anyway better get to work and get cracking all right guys keep you posted thanks for watching really appreciate it see ya